Alright, what's up? We're Enter Shikari, and you are watching the Kerrang! Podcast. Hi, Enter Shikari, welcome to the Kerrang! Podcast. Hello, Kerrang! Podcast. Can you describe where you are today, please? Rob. <laughs> London, <laughs> London Hammersmith Apollo backstage dressing room sofa. Good one. Correct. <laughs> How many more dates now? This is the end this of the is tour. This the last day. Perfect time to talk about how the tour has been and exactly what's gone on. Um, it's been brilliant. Uh, we started the tour in Amsterdam, and it took worst us, place to worst start place a tour, to tour ever. We were we were exhausted after the first two days. So um, we were then went into uh, Germany, one show in Antwerp, Belgium, and then we came to Edinburgh. And uh, we've done a few UK dates, and uh, here we are in London. And this is your biggest kind of headline run so far as well, isn't mm. it? Yeah. It, it, one, one of. Like, we've actually done a lot of these venues before. Um, it was funny, but not since like the first big tour that we did with mm -hmm. Take to the Skies. Mm. Um, so it was weird, like, seeing seeing all these places. It goes, oh, yeah, I remember, yeah, mm. I remember this one. Um, one of them had a jacuzzi in the dressing room. Mm. Wow. Man Manchester was that one? Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton. So we, we got some industrial strength fairy liquid. Yeah. And we put it in there, turned the bubbles on, left over stage and when we came back <laughs> it was just a big room full of bubbles. I think I saw a picture that one of you posted online maybe yeah. with the entire room filled with bubbles behind you. Is Sounds that about it? right. <laughs> <laughs> Getting up to terrible tour antics then. What about the actual performances and the sort of crowd reaction? Have you noticed a step up from the last time you played those venues? In terms of the intensity of the crowd, they've just been incredible. Um, obviously, it's the first time we've been playing the new album to, uh, to, to the majority of people in the UK, so yeah, seeing the reactions is just really intense, which is awesome. I've seen a lot of people talking as well about the production this time around, kind of blown yeah. away. Yeah, the production's ri ridiculous. That's half, half ridiculous, half wicked. R ricky, yeah. Wicked. Wicked. Um, it's basically... Uh, a, a production that you take to a, an arena-sized tour, but in in club shows, so it's um, ridiculous. It's impressive. We're it really out. is. It's <laughs> the biggest thing that we've ever had out. It's it's a mammoth. It's uh, gargantuan. Mm. And, I'm, and, I'm, and we got the lasers back as well for the first time in a long time. Because I'm not. I haven't seen the show yet because it's about to happen in a few hours' time. Mm -hmm. So can you give me a little taster? Can you tell me? You know what? What the, some of the things are? Are you getting your eyebrows singed? Are there fireballs? Well, I certainly am. We got these things called sharpies that are like these really condensed beams of light, and I've got one that's about two foot away from my back. Mm. And I actually had my wash bag on stage the other day, like a leather one, and it was on. It was put on there for maybe like ten seconds. It started to burn and melt. And that's what it's doing to my back every gig. It really is. It used intense. to have a really hairy back, but there's yeah. not a Yeah, there you one. go. Cheap <laughs> laser treatment. Yeah. yeah. Um, None of the boys have been tempted to kind of move it around and write something offensive in your skin. Yeah. It, I think it's, I mean, they're such big lights that it literally just covers up like the whole of the back. Just super tanned then. So, yeah, just, just a really tanned back. Maybe a little. Uh, a little like this. A little like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, other than that, we've got some. Some even bigger triangles. Mm -hmm. You know we love our triangles. There's a massive one up above us, like peering over us on stage. We did a load of trusts and stuff, incorporating yeah. more lights. Um, the lasers, yeah. No, no um, pyrotechnics this tour. But you know, maybe, maybe next tour. Yeah, come on, step it up. Well, you can't leave, leave us somewhere. This sounds completely yeah. forgettable. <laughs> and tell us about your buddies on the tour this time round. We've got Young Guns and Tech One in the UK, and then uh, on the, the other European dates, ones outside of the UK, we had a band called uh, the James Cleaver Quintet, who, um, and it's been one of the most relaxing, down-to-earth tours we've done. Everyone's been awesome. Yeah, it's been really, really fun, really nice. Um, they've all been up for a good time as well. So uh, we learnt a new a new drinking game from the James Cleaver Quintet called Flip Cup. Okay, and how does this like go? You have two teams of say like five people, 
in a cup in front of everyone with a, a shot in or like a, a little bit of beer or something and you start at one end and the first two people have to drink their drink, put the cup on the edge of the table and flip it up onto its onto its head then the next person can start. It's kind of like a relay race, mm. you know. As soon as they finish, Five you go. Right. So and if the cup bang, falls bang, bang, over, they have to keep going. They just going. have to keep, keep, keep flipping, keep flipping until it just sort of lands on its head. And then, uh, yeah, and then the, and the last, one, person. Last, last, last person to finish up loses. And who's the best member of Shikari at this game? We were all pretty terrible, actually. <laughs> Um, for ages just flipping the cup. <laughs> we, we're great at doing the shot part. That we got down, but flipping the cup bit is uh, yeah. more difficult than it looks. Um, being in this band has obviously enabled you to travel over the entire planet, and I know you've been really lucky going to all these different places. If you had to pick a particular place, a spot in the world, or a venue that you've played that really surprised you or really sticks out in your mind as being a completely unbelievable experience, where do you think you'd pick? Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, there's still a lot of places we, we're looking forward to getting to. We've never done any shows in South America, which we've heard always promised to be, you know, really eye-opening and, uh, and just bonkers. Um, we've not actually done any, sh uh, we've only done Japan in Asia, um, and that's always incredible. Um, so I, I guess out of the ones we've done, I'd say Japan is always the, uh, either the strangest or the craziest times we have. I actually went and saw you in Japan. You did? I was on holiday there and yeah, happened yeah. to coincide with you guys playing a show with A Day to Remember and I remember mm. it was pretty wild, like people kind of standing still and then the song finished, going absolutely mental and then fainting. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds, sounds Not me, but the, <laughs> the, the audience. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, I was just overcome with emotion. <laughs> what about you, Rob? Uh, I'd say Russia is probably my favourite. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it's like the first time that we ever went there, we were doing a venue that was like 1,500 capacity or something, and there was 1,500 kids there just like going mad for it. I was like, well, we've never been to Russia before. How come this is, why have we never been to Russia before? It's obviously, you know, doing well for us out here. Um, we had a strange been... experience in, what did you pronounce, Ekaterinburg? Ekaterinburg, yeah. yeah and is that in Ukraine? No, that was Russia. That's e Ekaterinburg's Russia, yeah. Um, yeah, and basically, as we we arrived to the airport, we um, we were greeted by uh, a guitarist and a bassist and a load and a load of their friends holding banners as we came through the thing. We were horribly hungover as we got there, and they proceeded to play pretty much the worst version of "Sorry, You're Not a Winner." We've ever heard. At yeah. the airport? At in the, the airport. airport. With, li yeah, with little amp the amps or an amplifier? Amplifiers, a yeah. uh, guy on guitar and a guy on bass. And like, it was just, it, it, it was so loud, and everyone in the airport was like, apart from this little group of, you know, like fans, it, it, it yeah. was the most awkward thing in the world. <laughs> just standing there like, what do we do? Yeah. <laughs> just had to stand cool. and watch. Yeah, uh, get get them to open watch, for yeah. you for the show that yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. And then we just kind of like, like, cool, nice one, thanks guys, and then walked off to a, they came running <laughs> after like, no, no, can you sign this stuff for us? I was like, oh yeah, sure, sorry. Yeah, that was <laughs> interesting. Um, I know the next week's issue of Kerrang! We've got a feature based around uh, your experiences in Amsterdam. The messy yeah. start of the tour, so people can read about that then. What finally is coming up next for Shikari once this tour is wrapped up? We've got uh, America. Six weeks in America. Six days after this tour, we have six days in America. Six, six weeks. weeks. America. Six weeks. With our boys Let Live. Boys Let Live are coming out. Um, and then we're into festival season, really. We've been announced for Reading Leeds Festival, Isle of Wight. Um, Tin the park. park. And that's main stage again, isn't it? Mm. Congratulations. Thank you. Looking forward to that Four one. Four years running. Boom. Tick, Smash. Tick that <laughs> one. <laughs> nice work. Well, thanks very much. I hope this evening goes well. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.